Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. I'm here to recap week one of the Major League Baseball season of 2022. Oh, and by the way, it's Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, in case you didn't know that. So anyway, yeah, we're going to do a little a quick recap. We got a little bit of highlight action from uh, a wild game between the Guardians and the uh, Royals, and we're going to talk about my White Sox and their injury issues coming out of this week. And we are going to look at the standings board as it is after the first week of the 2022 Major League Baseball season. And um, we're going to touch on all kinds of uh, cool stuff like that. We're going to talk about some of the new players uh, that have made their Major League Baseball debuts this week. And uh, we will, you know, talk about a lot of cool stuff like that. So stay tuned for the rest of the video. Watch it to the end. Hey, there's an idea. And uh, you'll get the Sportsman Z take on the first week of the Major League Baseball season of 2022. So let's take a look at the Major League Baseball standings as they currently are. On Friday, the 15th of April. And by the way, it's tax day. Did you file your taxes or an extension? Just a little reminder there. So anyway, we're going to look at the AL East. And the uh, we're going to look at the AL first. Um, and this was last year. So let's go look at um, just a reminder of how the AL East at least finished last year. But let's look at this year. So this year you've got the Rays on top at four and three, but they're tied with the Blue Jays and the Yankees, who are also four and three. And uh, then you got the Red Sox, who are three and three. And picking up the rear is the Orioles at one and five. No real, um, I guess so far, no real surprises there. In the central, you got my boys, the White Sox. They're four and two, but they're tied with the Guardians, who are also four and two. And then you got the Tigers at three and four, just a game and a half back of those two teams. And then you got the Twins at two and four, and the Royals at two and four. The Twins, even with the acquisition, I think, of Korea, are uh, are going to have an uphill battle this year. Um, and then you got the West where the Astros are four and two, the Athletics are four and three, and only a half game behind them. Kind of surprising here, and the Mariners are three and four, the Angels are three and four, and the Rangers are two and four. The Rangers did a lot of deals to get themselves, to make themselves a better team, and yet they're still only two and four. And it's surprising that the Mariners are under 500. Better things were expected of them uh, here. But let's take a look at Let's compare it to 2021 just quickly because I did that with the AL East. You got the White Sox that won the division with the Guardians right behind them, and then the Tigers, the Royals, and the Twins. Almost pretty much what it's looking like so far after one week of play. And then you got the uh, Astros, the Mariners, the Athletics, the Angels, and the Rangers. Kind of, I mean, a couple of teams are flip flop from what they were. So let's look at the National League. A uh, reminder of the National League, and I'll just go quickly through the reminder of the National League. You got the Braves who won the East and ended up being the world champions. They were 88 and 73, followed by the Phillies, the Mets, the Marlins, the Nationals. Then you, in the Central, you had the Brewers winning winning the division with the Cardinals five games behind them. And then the Reds, Cubs, and Pirates. And then in the West, you had the, the Giants winning a real shootout with the Dodgers by one game, and followed by the Padres, Rockies, and Diamondbacks. But if we look at this year, you got the Blue Jays. No, hold on, wrong one. You got the Mets um, at five and two, leading the division. This was kind of expected, although DeGrom started the year on the uh, injured list. And then you got the Phillies at three and four, the Braves at three and five, the Nationals at three and five, and the Marlins at two and four. 
Down in the Central, the Cubs have taken a, a slim early lead by a half a game over the Cardinals at four and two, with the Cardinals at three and two, and the Brewers at four and three. The Pirates, a surprising 500 team right now, and the Reds at two and five, picking up the rear. And then you got the Dodgers at four and two, but they're tied atop the division with the Rockies and the Giants, who are also all four and two and then the Padres at five and three and in a practical tie with them so it's like a four-way tie practically up there at the top of the west and then the Diamondbacks picking up the rear at two and four and so that's what you've got for the standing so far after one week of the 2022 Major League Baseball season so here are the uh, highlights of the uh, game of April 10th between the Guardians and the Royals, in which the Royals won the game 17-3. Just giving you some highlights here. But also, um, I'm going to go over a couple of other, uh, well, a few other notable games from this uh, first week of baseball. The Toronto Blue Jays had a come from dramatic, come from behind victory over the Texas Rangers, where the Rangers had a 7 0 lead after four innings, but ended up losing to Toronto 10 8. And that game was on the 8th of April. On the uh, 9th of April, Cleveland beat Kansas City 1-0 in 10 innings, a stark contrast to this game right here. And on the 11th, Cleveland beat Kansas City 10-7 to uh, complete a sweep of the, uh, of the Royals. Um, and uh, another notable game from this past week was that the Yankees... Well, another notable series, not really a game per se, but the Yankees took two out of three from the Red Sox this week, which was, uh, and the, the first game was a come from behind win for the Yankees. Of course, if you uh, know, if you're a Red Sox fan, and you probably do know this if you're a Red Sox fan, the Red Sox started last year by losing three straight to the Orioles, and they ended up being in the ALCS, so... Who knows? Maybe that's not going to be such a big deal for them this time, you know, that they drop two out of three to the Yankees to start the season. Of course, the Yankees and the uh, Red Sox have a, a heated rivalry, and uh, they never like to uh, lose to the Yankees, and the Yankees absolutely never like to lose uh, to the uh, Red Sox. So we're going to have to see how that works out for them. Um, but uh, otherwise, just uh, sit back and enjoy the rest of these highlights of this particular game. And then we will get on to some other notable things that happened this week in the first week of the 2022 Major League Baseball season. So here are the extensive list. Here is the extensive list of the White Sox, Chicago White Sox, that are out currently or were out for a part of uh, the first week and maybe out for even longer than that. And, and, and really, in most cases, that's what the situation is. So uh, you got Yoan Moncada is on the 10-day DL. Uh, Lucas Giolito came up with a stiff back in his first start. He may be back for his next start, his next scheduled start. We'll have to see. 
Got AJ Pollock. He's out with a groin uh, injury. Uh, it's a slight injury, according to Pollock, and he says he doesn't expect it to be a big problem. So we'll see how that um, happens. You know how that affects uh, him going forward and how quickly he can get back. You got elbow surgery for Garrett Crotchet. He's probably going to miss this season. Um, yeah, I mean, very likely he's going to miss the entire season. And maybe even part of next season. And you got Ryan Burr. He's on the uh, IL with a shoulder strain. Again, we don't know how bad that really is. And he may be back relatively soon. Let's hope so. You got Joe Kelly is out with a biceps nerve injury. No idea how long that'll keep him on the shelf. But, you know, uh, again, problematic. And now you got Lance Lynn with knee surgery, and uh, he's going to be out a good while. I I heard he'll be back uh, in. I swear I heard he'd be back in in May, but I I find that very hard to believe. Maybe maybe June. I could maybe believe June for knee surgery, but anyway, unless they were just cleaning stuff out like they do sometimes. So anyway, this is uh, exactly how I feel about the situation. And before we go, just some quick notes of uh, some stuff that happened this week that you may have heard about. Uh, Clayton Kershaw had pitched seven perfect innings and then was taken out of the game by manager Dave Roberts. Uh, I guess because of a pitch count in the early start of the season. Perfect game. Gone. Because... The manager took him out. He only had to get six more outs, and he could have had a perfect game. So that went by the boards. And uh, we also have, uh, historically, the first female on-field coach. That was for the uh, San Francisco Giants. And her name is Alyssa Nakin. And she replaced the Giants' first base coach after he had been ejected from the game by an umpire. So that was uh, history being made, kind of like this man right here, Jackie Robinson made baseball history. Um, and uh, we also had the debut of uh, several Major League Baseball players. Not going to name them all here, but among them are Spencer Torkelson of Detroit, Bobby Witt Jr. for the Kansas City Royals, Julio Rodriguez for the Seattle Mariners, and Jose Azucar of San Diego. All very exciting players. And uh, also of note, we had Vladdy Jr., Vladdy Guerrero Jr. of the uh, Blue Jays had a three home run game. In fact, he may have had two, but I know he had one because I watched it against the Yankees, three jacks. So a lot of exciting stuff happened this week. And if you missed it, well, tune in next week because I plan to do this every week and I'll recap what happened every week. So that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing out.